Hi friends, are you ready to look at motion in a straight line as we go up the tallest building in the world? Do you know which is the tallest building? Let me give you some options. Is it the Shanghai Towers in Shanghai? Or the Petrona Towers in Kuala Lumpur? Or is it the Burj Khalifa in Dubai? Or the One World Trade Center in New York? So what do you think is the right answer here? Well, here are the heights of the four buildings and as you can see, the Burj Khalifa at a height of 828 meters is the tallest building in the world today. And in this video, we are going to go up the elevator of this building and do some physics on the way. Here are some interesting facts about Burj Khalifa for you. It has a total of 163 floors. The outdoor observation deck on the 124th floor is at a height of 452 meters and the elevator we are going to take takes exactly one minute to reach the 124th floor. Wow, isn't that really fast? Let's see if we can calculate the speed of this elevator. So friends, now are you ready to hop into the elevator? and 124. So here we are at the 124th floor and it took us exactly one minute. Wow, look at the view at the observation deck. This is simply amazing. Unbelievable. We are at a height of 450 meters. Now some questions for you. When going from the ground to the 124th floor, What's our distance traveled? That's right, it's 452 meters or approximately 450 meters. Now what about our displacement? That's right, it's the same as distance, 450 meters. Now why is that? Because if you think about it, in the elevator we are traveling in a straight line. And when the motion is in a straight line, distance and displacement are equal. So when the elevator starts, what is its initial speed? That's right, zero. And while going up, the elevator reaches its maximum speed. And as we are approaching the 124th floor, the elevator slows down. And what is its final speed? Correct, zero again. Since the speed is changing over time, it makes more sense to calculate the average speed. Now what is the formula of average speed? That's right, total distance by total time. So let's go ahead and calculate the average speed of the elevator. The total distance here is 450 meters and the total time is 1 minute. Let's convert that to the SI unit, seconds. So it's going to be 60 seconds. And if we divide the two numbers, we get 7.5 meters per second. So the average speed of our elevator in Burj Khalifa is 7.5 meters per second. But we are more used to speeds in kilometers per hour. For example, the speed of a bus or a car is measured in kilometers per hour. So to get a better feel, let's convert this number to kilometers per hour. Now how do we do that? You convert the meters to kilometers and the seconds to hours. Or there's a shortcut method. You can multiply this number by 18 by 5. So we get the number as 27 kilometers per hour. This is the average speed of our elevator. So it's like a car going at 27 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast, right? I hope you enjoyed the trip to the tallest building in the world. And do remember to like, comment and share out this video and go and hit the red subscribe button for my YouTube channel right now. You can also follow my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. And do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, biology, maths and computer coding on our website manuchaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. Hope you like it and happy learning.